in this tutorial we will make rack and pinion separately and we will assemble and at the end we will make this simple animation in solidworks or you will say motion study in solidworks i hope you like it so let's start to create this rack and pinion mechanism in solidworks here we make first part of rack and pinion mechanism it's pinion i'll change unit i'll keep in inches activate front plane sketch now activate line from here and uh, let's say i'm going to start from here a closed geometry let's activate smart dimension 5 inch say yes now this diameter should be 0.7 Four nine. It is radius, so divide by two. Its diameter one point one two five, and it is going to be radius, so divide by two. And the length one point one eighty seven millimeter. See. Activate revolve boss base, and here. axis of revolution i'll keep this bottom line angle of rotation 360 degree keep end condition blind look again activate front plane sketch activate circle tool smart dimension now let's define the dimension for this 0.515 and center distance 0.5 okay is still not defined so select hold shift key select both the points horizontal now activate extruded cut and here in end condition keep through all both say yes now it's going to make a hole in both direction let me activate chamfer angle distance now the distance is 0.0625 angle 45 degree and let's choose these three ends say yes look now it's time to make a teeth so i'm going to make teeth here a sketch now select the upper circle convert entity activate circle and again create one more circle and let's define the this diameter or the gap between these two circle 0.14 inch activate line tool and we are going to define teeth okay mirror entity click the line make sure you selected copy mirror about this line say okay A smart dimension let's define the end. gap 0.04 inch now angle 49.2 degree 28 degree that's it now here let's activate circular pattern now let me choose parameters these two lines 360 equal spaces and number of patterns 12 say yes if it is not defined select any point and this circle coincide and let me check these two points 0.04 undo okay this is going to be the point that's fine now activate extruded cut and we need to cut th these portions
select all the portions what we need to cut that's fine keep one inch end condition blind let's say yes look A sketch convert entities and I am going to little expand hold shift key select these two lines collinear similar we will do this for this and collinear extruded cut there is no standard or anything like this just we want to do it one inch angle let us say 15 degree Ten degree. Look, circular pattern feature. I am going to choose this feature. Circular edge. Let's say this one. Three hundred sixty degree each and twelve number of instances. This is important. Look. even though there is a hole on pinion so you can use hole wizard tool straight tap inches tap the bottom hole and uh, this is going to be 1 by 4 20 1 by 4 20 next next here let us keep cosmetic thread select this place at center escape key to out say yes now look even if you want to see cosmetic thread just activate documents property detailing shaded cosmetic thread now look you will see the threads here let's assign some material metal activate real view that seems perfect save part 1 pinion folder let's make the next part again inches I will keep plain background even though I will increase the image quality let us keep higher no problem file size will increase but the image sharpness will also increase front plane is sketch activate center rectangle and define the width height and length 0.75 7.75 inch extrude keep end condition blind and depth also 0.75 inch it is moving in perfect direction say yes now let me let hide for a time being we want to create a thread here so let's start Okay, let me give one 
apply few dimensions like these are equal okay these two lines select this one collinear fine and these two lines let's say collinear even e equal already there this line already equal define dimension 0 0.937 0 0.1875 inch that's it you can do little small now activate linear sketch pattern now entities already here line available these three and this four line we need to choose point four is the gap and 22 number of instances we need now axis x axis already selected you will see x this red is x axis say okay do one thing select these two points coincide reduce the gap okay activate one more line and close up to here now select this end line hold shift key this end line and select center one and create here relation this is important relation make symmetric say okay smart dimension zero point three this is the important dimension I hope you note down this is important why we did like this because we will get a exact symmetric threads cut out at both side let me close this because we want to close this profile also so the best way is close like this even if you assign some dimension it will be fine this is fully defined sketch extruded cut keep through all and condition say yes look a sketch activate line tool now we want to create a path for rack and pinion so this line going to be that 0 0.68 exit and uh, plane now first reference plane top plane now second is choose this line because we want to make a parallel plane here choose top plane parallel you will see the preview exact on the line say yes this is a reference plane which is going to be used now save this one part 2 rack file even though you can make assembly from part or simply you will say new assembly ok now here already all the parts are here so select both 
क्लिक हियर बोथ एडिट पार्ट वन एंड हियर वी वांट टू ऐड द रेफरेंस लाइन सो आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड ए सर्कल हियर वन इंच नाउ सेव दिस exit escape would you like to build assembly now say yes edit now for this one i am going to add some material or some different color okay save it cancel now look right click and here choose float right click and this is also floating mode rotate component say okay activate mat and i'll choose here front plane and select this face this is going to coincide say okay and uh, one more important thing let's activate here better to activate a view origin cancel it so the best thing about this activate here temporary axis look now activate mat is standard here just clear and i'll choose this one and this one go inside say okay cancel let me hide axis now see this is rotating along with this that's perfect what we need it hide even axis also activate mat select this face and this face relation coincident say yes just take down okay in rack we created one plane see so select this plane mat and select this line Uh, this circle tangent see it's going to fixed with this say okay cancel now if you see this is perfectly fixed here even though you can click and hide this lines and all now here we need to create few more relation top and select this one and choose parallel say okay now see just try to okay this is going to be perfect position okay now go to mechanical rack and pinion first choose rack so now select this line on rack pinion select this circle rack travel per revolution this is the revolution and say yes cancel now let me see is oh look now save this assembly then later hide hide okay see this is moving perfectly so let me move something like here okay right click let me save this here 
right click motion manager activate motion manager see here now we want to apply let's drag this assembly up to 9 apply here motor select this one this is rotating clockwise perfect rpm keep 10 milli 10 revolution per minute say okay now just play okay this is moving perfectly okay now again i want to apply motor so apply motor again this one now this is rotating again clockwise so just change the direction reverse revolution 10 say okay but let's increase this length up to double the, this and motor one we will finish up to here so at center click off so motor one will move from here to nine then motor two just bring from here start from here see so just calculate and you will see here it's a start from end from this end to this end it will and again go back from this end to this end so this is the simple rack and pinion mechanism i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching